Good morning, students. Today we are going to start the fresh poem that is the children are going to school. Children are going to school. But before that, uh, last time we had completed uh, the lesson that was uh, autobiography of a great Indian star. That lesson we had completed and as well as the homework you have been provided. Hope you did that homework. And if not, do it properly uh, and if possible, as well as possible. And today we are going to start the next point that is children are going to school. See here, before going to start this poem, I should say you uh, every day, every new day uh, brings a new hopes new challenges uh, or we can say the new difficulties, challenges and hopes we can say. One side challenges are there and the side hopes are there. Means every day the sun rises up, the sun rises up with the new hopes to the people, in the life of the people. So here every day we come to school but every day we learn something new in the school. It means how the sun rises up, how the sun rises up with the new hopes, the new imaginations, the new power, the new strength, the new might, and the what you can say, the fresh in the life of the people. In the same way, the students learn something special, the new new ideas, what you can say, new information in the school. And the children are going to school uh, to get something new from the teachers, from their teachers and in the school. But how the other elements, how the other natural elements uh, in the sense of respect, in the sense of good feeling, in the sense of uh, what can say honor, how they react, how they interact with the children who the who the who they are going to school, who going to school. Let's be let's be see in this lecture. Morning light comes, sorry, morning light spreads over the earth. Once again, the sky holds his head in respect for children are going to school. Here, the first four lines says how the morning, or you can say how the morning appears on the, or you can say ground on the earth. Morning light spreads over the air. How the sun rises up, how the sun, or you can say, or you can say, uh, rises up early in the morning that the light of the sun spreads all over the earth, all over the earth. And what light spreads all over the earth, that light creates the new imagination, the new hopes in the life of the people. See here, always, every day, uh, early in the morning, we should wake up with the, the new hopes, the new challenges, the new opportunities, and that should be have, that should be achieved at the end of the day. This is the, we can say, imagination, this is the power creates uh, the new, what we can say, new hopes in the life of the people. Morning light spreads over the earth. Once again, the sky goes his head in respect for children are going to school. See here, the light spreads all over the world. The light spreads all over the, what you can say, earth by the sun. Early in the morning, the sun raises up, the sun rises up and it lights spread all over the, each and every corner of the world. Each and every corner of the world. And second thing, the sky. The sky, the sky once again ready uh, to head down, to what you can say, to bow down the respect of the, the respect of the students, the respect of the children who 
for going to school. The sun, after his morning dip in the river, dressed up in his golden muslin turban. What is muslin here? Muslin means a kind of a kind of soft a kind of soft cotton fabric fabric what is fabric fabric is uh, costly or you can say cloth muslin muslin a kind of soft cotton fabric who the sun when the sun deep into the river deep into the river for a while and when again it comes out from the river uh, it uh, what can say it appears appears or it looks just like a different just like a, the sun is having over his head or you can say totally uh, it, its appearance totally changed just like a uh, is very golden muslin turban over his uh, head waits and smiles on one side of the road first of all he dips into the river he dips into the river and when he comes out from the river totally he has been found he has been changed itself by or you can say changed itself by Uh, one one kind of one can say fabric over his over his head and he waiting he is waiting for who he is waiting for children he is smiling over the children those who are going to school by standing by being one side of the road see here here we are understanding in poetic language actually it is not a, one can say genuine or it is not one can say Uh, realistic information, real poem. It is not totally. It is based on poetic language. The poet is trying to make him understand how the sun is ready for itself, ready itself for the students. How the sun, how the sky is going in the respect of the students who are going to school, and the sun is dipping itself into the water. And when it comes outside totally, it looks like. It looks just like the the sun is wearing the turban. What kind of turban? It is a muslin, one kind of soft fabric over his head, and waiting for whom? He is waiting for the students. He is waiting for the children and smiling and smiling to see the children by standing by being one side of the road. Those who are going to school and who are going to school, the children are going to school. Second stanza, through the green topped branches, through the green topped branches. What top means? The trees, high trees, high trees always having the top branches, big big branches uh, for each side. Through the green topped branches, breezes sing their songs of blessings. First of all, in the first stanza, we have seen about the sky. The sky goes down. The the sky goes down in the respect of children. Those are going to school. Their sky is respecting, giving respect. Or we can say to the children, those are going to school. Then after we try to understand about the sun, the sun who is what we can say having the muslin, having the turban over his head, waiting and smiling over the children. Those who are going to school. And now we are going to see about the branches of the tree. We are going to see about the tree branches of the tree. How the branches trees are there? The trees of the branches are fully lush, greeny, fully lush, lush and greeny. And between the branches, throughout the branches, there is a breeze. What kind of breeze? The cold air. They are singing. They are the air. The cold air is singing a song for who? For the children, they are the what you can say. The air is not singing a song. It's not really, but the poet is making understand in poetic language how the air, how the air is breathing, and it is singing 
the song as a blessing for the the air is giving bliss the air is blessing the children those who are going to school fragrant flowers fragrant what is fragrant friends what you can say smelling uh, fragrant flowers awaken the sleepy roads with their melodies awaken is what what is awaken mean away Awake means what? Make awake. How the roads are here? The roads are very silent, quiet. The way roads are very silent, quiet. No one is there on the road. Why? Because the children are going to school. Fragrant flowers are waiting for who? Children. Those who are going to school. They are so blooming. Different kind of, or we can say, uh, trees. The fragrant flowers awaken the sleepy roads with their melodies. At the corner of the lane, the people in his lush deep falling wave his hands. For children are going to school. It means all the natural elements. It means all the natural elements of our surrounding area are respecting those who are going to school. They are respecting to the children, those who are going to school, because going to school, uh, why the school, why the children go to school? Because to learn something is, it is a holy work, it is a pure work to get something, to get something new idea, to get something new information. It is a good work. That is why all the natural elements are, what you can say, respecting, honoring the children who are going to school. Here one word is college. College. Greenery. See, see what's done. Come on, see. Leaf. Okay. Leaf cover. Oh, my okay. What is muslin? Muslin. It is a one kind of soft cover. Soft cotton, fabric, and second is awaken. What is awaken? Awaken is make away, and falling is greenery leaf cover. Who is having muslin over his head? The sun is having the muslin over his head, and by having by having the muslin over his, he is smiling. He is respecting to the children. Those are going to school. May awaken. What is awaken? Who awaken the sleepy roads here? The fragrant flowers are making awaken the sleepy roads with their melodies. What is melodies? A different sound, different musical sound, musical what you can say sound by fragrant flowers, and they are respecting, they are honoring the children, those who are going to school. At the corner of the lane means the way, the way the road. From where the children are going to school? First of all, we have seen the sun. The morning spreads light over the over the earth. Second, we have seen the sky goes down in the respect of in the respect of the children who are going to school. Then we have seen the sun. The sun the sun dip into the water, dip into the river, and when it comes out, he 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 seems to be uh, totally changed itself and having the turban over his. He also respecting to the children. Those are going to school. Then we are seeing the top green, top branches, the green top of branches, and in between the branches, throughout the branches, through the branches, there is a song. What kind of song? The breezing. What is breezing? Breezing is a soft, cold air. They are singing a song for whom? As a breezing for the children are going to school. Fragrant flowers, flowers in different plants in different trees. They are also making. See here, the what you can say, smelly flowers. The fragrant flowers make the sleepy roads away, away and why? Because from that way, from that road, the children are going to school. At the one corner of the road, at the one corner of the lane, there is a people tree. There is a people tree having with the lush. Deep falling waves his hand for children are going to school. Waves are hand means the people trees having the different kind of we can say waves naturally 
and how the poet is making understand that waves are just like a what you can say respect the respect of the children those who are going to school hope you understood this first two stanzas of the poem next we are going to start the last poem the last stanza of the poem till then we can write the homework which i am writing on the blackboard how long right right about natural elements elements mentioned in the Thank you.